G'day everyone, so in this video I want to show you how to replace an old window with a new window. So the first thing we want to do is get the architraves off. Now the architraves are the timbers that bridge the gap between the window and the plaster. So in a situation where you want to keep them, uh, you just got to be delicate in the way you pull them off. Uh, in other situations, the old window might just be getting thrown out, so you can be a bit more aggressive in the way you pull the architraves off. You might damage the window, who cares? Same goes if you actually want to keep the window, but you don't care about the plaster. Same again, you can be a bit more aggressive, damage the plaster, and then that way you can make sure the window doesn't get damaged. So in this situation, I don't want to damage the plaster, and I do actually want to salvage these architraves. So first thing we want to do is use a knife and cut away any caulking, silicon, no more gaps, or any paint that's actually going to hold the architrave in place a little bit. So we'll cut that out of the way. It's going to go a long way to making this job a lot easier. So that's the first thing we want to do. If you do want to salvage your architraves as well, make sure you pull the nails out from behind with some pliers. If you hit them back through with a hammer, uh, you're just going to blow out and splinter the architrave. So keep that in mind. We'll get the architraves off and then I'll show you the next step then. Now I like to just use a chisel and start at the bottom because it's the easiest one to access. Take our time with the first one and once it's off, the others are a lot easier. Now this process might damage the window. If you wanted to salvage that, you would go on the plaster side. But for me, I'm trying to keep the plaster as it is. Now this part here no one's ever going to see, so you can actually get your hammer into that space and lift off the other architraves from there. So now the architraves are off, we can actually cut the nails. Uh, generally these old windows are nailed in, uh, newer ones tend to be screwed in, so we're going to get a reciprocating saw, cut the nails, but before we do that, we want to get ready to actually carry the window out. So anything we can do to make it lighter uh, is going to help. So with a sliding window like this, you can actually remove that panel uh, and now the window is going to weigh half as much. Now I'm pretty confident in my situation, there's only nails in the sides. It's usually standard procedure, but don't be surprised if there are some through the top and the bottom. I've already removed a couple windows in this house, so I know what to expect. Uh, and I know this isn't gonna weigh as much compared to the new one, because it's single glazed, and the new one is double glazed. So I can't quite lift the new one on my own, but I'm pretty confident I can get this out on my own, uh, and then I'll just get some help for five minutes. Now, as you can see, I've got these timbers screwed to the reveals of the window. These screw holes should get covered up later by the architrave, but the point of the timber that I've screwed to this window is to stop it from falling through, and it's also going to help hold the window flush with the plaster, which is exactly where we want it, and that way our architraves will sit nice and flat when we get round to them. Now what I'm doing here is just putting a couple of screws in. I haven't put any packers in yet, but you can always do those later. Just get a few screws in at the top, make sure the window isn't going to go anywhere uh, and that way you can pack each screw one at a time as you go and you're going to be sure that the window isn't going to move or fall out of its hole. So my approach is generally one corner at a time. You want to get a straight edge, a level or a ruler, something that you can use 
to check that the window is flush with the plaster. Once you're sure that the window is flush, drive your screw in and get some window packers and just pack the window to the frame and uh, make sure it's nice and tight by the time you do the screw up. Take your time with this. It usually takes me a few goes to get the packers just right, but you do wanna make sure they're nice and tight and you wanna make sure your window reveals are nice and straight. Now, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that I already checked the timber, the framing, that it was level across here. Check that before you put the window in and just anticipate whether or not you have to pack the window to make it level. Um, if it's only a couple mil, you can just back those screws off. Keep them engaged enough so that the window doesn't fall out of its hole, um, but you still should be able to get a chisel in there and lift it up a couple mil uh, and then put those screws back in. So I'm not gonna put any screws down um, but one last thing is I'm going to screw near where the lock operates on this sliding panel uh, and that'll be pretty much it. Now I'm just checking that this lock functions. And I can see when I move that lever that it's actually pulling the window in. So we're going to give it a head start just by putting some packers at this lock. It's always a good idea whether it's a door or a window. Uh, and then that is going to help remove that slack and then make the lock operate better. Uh, if that doesn't fix it, then there is some adjustment in the lock itself. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Now, I will make another video on how to do architraves, and it'll just be its own video. I have covered them before on the channel in conjunction with other things, but this time around, I'll do a detailed tutorial on just architraves, so feel free to subscribe and you'll see the architrave video when it comes out if you're interested. And other than that, thanks for watching.